Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating grid pros ability to handle multi-scale geometries. The example considered here is a wind turbine blade with vertex generators. I will be using the topology created from the wind turbine video published in the channel as a base topology. The wind turbine blade is meshed using periodic approach. This is the final grid of the topology. Vertex generators which look like tiny fins are designed for each blade geometry. They improve blade performance by reducing flow separation and thereby improving lift and turbine power output. The relative scale between the two geometries make it very difficult to mesh using multi-block meshing. Because in conventional tools, capturing the small features create high aspect ratio cells in undesirable locations and thereby increases the cell count. However, in Grid Pro, we use nesting techniques to capture small features locally. The scope of the video is to integrate two pre-meshed topologies, one wind turbine topology and the other vertex generator topology. This is the vertex generator geometry that I am going to integrate with the blade geometry. The vertex generator topology is loaded as a template and transformed to form a pattern as shown here. To merge the vertex generators to the blade topology, it has to be linked to form a structure similar to the blocking pattern in the blade topology. The individual blocking of the four vertex generators are linked to form a box-like structure as shown here. The topology for the vertex generator is now created. It can be integrated to the wind turbine topology. In the wind turbine topology, let's load the vertex generator topology as a template using load template option. Load template option is different from load topology option. It gives the user flexibility to transform the topology before loading it to the UI. The vertex generator topology is saved under step2.vgparmacro.fra which is being selected under file name. All option is selected for the corner and surface group since all the corners and surfaces of the FRA file needs to be loaded. To position the vertex generators on the blade, the topology has to be rotated and translated for which I am entering the pre-calculated values. Note that the vertex generated wireframe and the surfaces are loaded into the existing topology at the desired location. The outer layer of the topology has to be merged with the blade topology. I am grouping the outer structure of the topology in group C8. The topology assigned to the blade and its adjacent layer is grouped in C7 using span out option. Span out option helps to group the corners adjacent to the selected group of corners. You can span out up to 4 layers at a time using drop down options. To merge both the topologies, the topology structure has to be same. To match the vertex generator topology grouped in C8, I am inserting sheets on the blade topology along Y axis. Inserting sheets on the vertex generator topology in order to match the blade topology along X axis. The blocks of the blade topology that need to be merged in the region are grouped in C7. The blocks inside the selected region are being deleted by deleting the corner which passes through the vertex generator region. The block face which need to be merged are grouped in group C7 and C8. These groups can be merged together using merge button. Merge can be done by dragging a box around the desired corners or using the groups. For this case we will be using the groups C7 and C8. Note that the topologies are merged together. The cross sections of the merged topologies can be seen here. The 
The next step is to check the assignments. Since the vertex generator topology is merged with the blade topology, the faces representing the bottom of the vertex generator topology have to be assigned to the blade. So the faces defining the blade are grouped and assigned. The other surface assignments of the vertex generator and blade topology are retained to the respective surfaces. Let's check the validity of the topology. The validity reports that it is valid without any singularities. The gridding process ran for 20 minutes approximately to output the converged grid, which is not shown in this video. The converged grid is loaded into the UI. Note that the grid for both the blade and vertex generators are created. This is the cross-sectional grid sheet of the blade. Note that the vertex generator is captured with high resolution and low aspect ratio grid without propagating to the far field. This is achieved due to the nesting technique. Similarly, many such templates can be integrated together. Please refer the manual for different applications on templates. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to get the updates on the new videos.